Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be an Aquarius Sun, Moon, and as well rising monthly tarot reading October 2019. And bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we can jump right into the into the reading. Alright, so the first card which represents the topic for Aquarius month, uh, that will be the Four of Pentacles. Then what we do have, it is the challenges that you guys need to overcome throughout the month. We do have the challenges of the Death card. Afterwards, it is, the third card is very, I cannot say conditional, but it does refer to what is the best course of action. What it is that you can do about it, alright? The, the, the intentions that you should adopt throughout the month. And that is going to be the two of uh, cups, followed by the, the fourth card here, which represents the lesson that uh, this month is going to teach you, the month of October, or why this is all happening. Uh, we do have the temperance card, and then the last one uh, in your reading, Aquarius, does represent the uh, positive energies, the energies which are going to help you through get through the month, and that will be the nine of cups. So quite of an, an interesting month is what we do have for you guys. And uh, before we jump into the reading, picking up the cards one by one, let's run them down one more time. So Four of Pentacles, it is uh, the topic followed by the challenges of the death card. Then what we do have, it is the uh, intentions, the best possible approach to all the situation here. That will be the Two of Cups. Then the third card, uh, the fourth card, excuse me, is going to be the uh, lesson that you that the month is going to teach you here. The lesson that you are to to learn. We do have the temperance, and then the final card here. It is the um, energies that are to support you throughout the month. That is going to help you get through the month itself. That will be the nine of cups. All right. So uh, four of pentacles. It is the topic, and is catalyzed here by the queen of swords. So despite uh, Aquarius that you may have and an openings to uh, have certain things accomplished, all right, and to push things through in general, your mindset is going to be more focused upon what you can sustain throughout the month instead of jeopardizing it in favor of new ventures and in favor of, of a, a, a new achievements, if you want to say it that way. Now, you are going to put the accurate value upon your upon your um, possessions like relationships like jobs as well so instead of um, I cannot say really acting recklessly but let's say uh, instead of being uh, at tenacious all right and instead of being um, aggressive throughout the month you will become more defensive because you are going to uh, completely understand what is at stake here, okay? So you are going to be able to see through and um, obtain an accurate perception of uh, what the game is all about or what this is all about. I mean, you're either your career or either your relationship. So you're going uh, to get an accurate perception of 
what is that you can lose and so instead of rushing into growth while growth can be achieved right uh, you are to be more prone first to consolidate your positions take any defensive measures should should the uh, shits hit the fan in some phases you know of a future development and as well do whatever you can to um, ensure a, a stable and uh, predictable foreseeable future. Now that being said, the month itself is going to present you with a lot of a, uh, a lot of means for you to do so. And you can really establish this big comfort zone around yourself, so comfortable that you may not just want to move away from it but you will also see no reason why you have to jeopardize it in any way now these two cards here the four of pentacles and the queen of swords are a, a passive enemies and it's a very awkward combination saying that uh, there will be a conflict in between your logic and in between you know what your assessment upon the situation is with your experience this is what I mean, that your previous experience of similar situations will tell you to push through, while your current assessment of the situation will tell you to uh, instead work for sustainability, okay? Because pushing through always jeopardizes sustainability. It, it challenges the sustainability. So we do have a conflict of interest in between two aspects of your nature, the, the experience and as well the and the logic itself and with these two cards i would bet on the logic okay instead of uh, jeopardizing current positions your query should instead do what you can to sustain the to sustain them and to uh, solidify them because these current positions will are going to be the prerequisites or the predispositions that you do require to ensure your foreseeable future. So what is going to be the challenge here? We do have the death card followed by the tower card. So this is actually quite a very favorable combination. First of all, we do have a passive enemies and uh, whatever is going on in your life, basically these cards are saying that it doesn't have to go in a violent way, all right? Whatever that is, whatever you are trying to liberate yourself from, because they do speak for a liberation. Liberation from certain habits, right? For example, quitting smoking, you don't have to quit it in a violent way, okay? Or substitute it with something just as noxious as smoking in, okay? That, that process, what I mean, can go very naturally. Or detaching from a relationship or, the, or uh, quitting of a job. That, that process, what I mean, is it can go very, very smooth and in a milder fashion, in a way that at the end of the day, you ain't gonna feel any regrets from it, if I may say it that way. And also, you are gonna build up the mindset that you can uh, exchange it or rather substitute it for a, a similar endeavor, for example, another relationship or a better job as well. Okay, but these two cards in general are pointing that, um, how can I put, how, how can I describe it here? It is that um, whatever change is happening for you Aquarius throughout the months, uh, it doesn't have to be necessarily a negative one, okay? Unless you don't make it that way, unless you are not being aggressive about it, unless you are not trying to fight against it, and unless you are not trying to uh, borrow its time. Now, that is the worst thing you can do, guys. Borrow its time, okay? Your partner wants to go away. They, they just don't want to be with you. The worst thing you can do is try to borrow that relationship time. Or same goes for your career. You see no future any longer into this career place. The worst thing you can do throughout the month of October is to try to borrow your career time. Or rather like your current position into the job a time to borrow its time so just let it go it's 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 all that it is needed because what happens here with these two cards is that they point that everything is at flux and it must change or whatever it is at flux it must change but once again the change doesn't have to be a destruction the change instead could be a seed that it is planted that can a life sprinkle out of it and uh, it is entirely up into your hands to face this this new environment, okay? Um, 
I don't know how better way to describe it, but um, my point here is that this doesn't have to lead to the destruction of your life, okay? Uh, and uh, the only way you can make it such is if you try to borrow its time once again or you face it in aggressive fashion. Um, so uh, just to conclude on these two cards because they are very broad guys uh, definitely there are there are going to be a circumstances that you would like to keep on a first glance okay and that you would like to continue on with them throughout the months and probably in the in the rest of the year or maybe for a lifetime as well but when you think about it carefully um, about them uh, you are to uh, understand that it, it serves no purpose anymore and so you need to let go of them because the death is always about burning bridges and this is this is the fundament of the challenge here to um, to just burn those bridges all right bridges with certain things and with the past as well because the death is about one one door closes and another opens it is always about that while the tower is about destroying the door or destroying the the bridge and rebuilding it back and it it it, it is always uh, how can i say it? it it always comes with very unpleasant a uh, circumstances if you try to do that instead of just letting it go and 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 kind of like allowing the natural process of faith to take place the uh, next card it is about the best possible approach or the intentions that you can have obviously with the wow look at that guys so we do have these two cards and they are a active a uh, passive excuse me passive friends extremely potent combination for a forming a relationship because of the page of pentacles and the thing is that you already know the person okay and that relationship can help you and will help you in tremendous way to consolidate your positions and to face the challenges throughout the month. So uh, literally whatever happens into your career or into your friendship circle or into your life in general, uh, you are going to always find a solace in this in this relationship that it is forming here and if i have to be more precise it should have something to do with a a friend of yours when the page falls to the four to the two of cups especially with the two of cups as a main card it almost always signifies that you do have a friend that has more than just friendship towards you it is it is almost always signifies or it is forming a such of a uh, evaluated emotional state within them and you have to catch it that is the intentions all right you need to allow those those emotional evolution to fully unfold by catching seizing that opportunity and showing your your dedication as well of course should you want it but uh, these cards are highly advising you that you need to explore this um, this option available now additionally these two cards here are saying that your environs uh, uh, your environs is are going to be very very peaceful and very very calm in the sense of that it is very unlikely that your co-workers are going to give you a, a rough time also your friends as well not to mention your closest people like family you know like like partners into romantic relationships and etc etc and definitely uh, whatever happens throughout the month for you of Aquarius you never should try to attempt it on your own okay but always try to be with someone in it uh, that reminds me to myself and I'm sorry if I am kind of like overwhelming with giving a um, an, an examples with myself but it is just it's my mentality that I can never do business on my own it's just I know that I'm gonna fail so whatever business I'm trying to open or for let alone relationships you know um I, it, I always need someone to accompany me you know as a business partner a relationship partner obviously as well so it's uh i and that should be your mindset here is what i'm trying to say that you don't have to face all of that alone you don't have to try to uh secure your positions on your own you don't have to face the change on your own as well because it will be a difficult month in the sense of that there will be a, a contradictory once again in between conflict in between your 
um, previous experience that you do have in similar in similar conditions and as well the logic that you do have right now they were they're gonna pull you in different directions and simultaneously it will be difficult for you to um, secure your positions because as we see challenges wise there are gonna be changes happening as well uh, that doesn't have to go in a bad way all right and you will definitely gonna need all the support you you can get and uh, it does look like this support is already around Around you everything that you need to do it's allow that extended hand to touch you so why this is all happening here we do have the temperance card and the card is accompanied with the two of pentacles uh, these two cards are active uh, neutrals that we do have and while they both are saying that uh, things can always change no matter how solid plan one has there is always a better way how one can go for a certain things that's uh it, it takes a different dimension the message here in this uh in this extent what i mean is that the plan can change on different levels okay it can change on material level as a performance or it can change on a spiritual level as ideas and as a mindset as well but uh, the uh, the month are gonna teach you to look the situation from any side, uh, from from all of its sides, to uh, how can I say it? To take under consideration every dimension that the situation has, and ultimately at the end, even though you may not decide in favor of the best way that you can tackle with it. Okay, you decide in the favor of most efficient way to tackle with it. Additionally to that, the month itself is going to teach you how to tackle with chores, right? And being humble with it. Things that you usually find very annoying to deal with and to, to basically get along with or rather like to, um, what was the expression here? to get over with all right now they're not gonna bother you that more with uh, for a simple reason here it is that you are to acknowledge that this is a necessity okay and knowing and kind of having it stuck deep within your mind that that is a necessity and simply has to be done yeah it, the performance and the uh the uh, kind of like overcoming it will become much much more easier than before in a mental and emotion emotional states uh simultaneously and the last card for you, Aquarius, it is about the uh, energies which are to support you here. This have, by the way, a huge correlation with the first card, the Four of Pentacles. We do have the Nine of um, Cups and the Three of Swords. So those energies are pretty much overlapping with the first, with the situation that we do have. First of all, we do have a, a passive enemies once again. And these cards, those energies are going to help you to always first sustain, then achieve, okay? You, you get to a milestone and instead of jeopardizing milestone, rushing for the next one before you're securing this one, those energies are, for, are always going to push you first to sustain and uh, transform a short-term success or a short-term happiness into a long-lasting one before you go to the next uh, for the next milestone. And just to give you an example for that at the end, guys, say that um, if we go with the intentions, say that you have that very good friend, you really enjoy spending time together, and it's kind of like you are feeling them very, very close to yourself, while throughout the month of October, you kind of start understanding that that isn't just a friendship, all right? That, 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 that is more than a friendship, and that is a huge milestone. But instead of rushing and intimidating the person with over uh, um, overwhelming kind of like emotional expression, you first solidify that position of a uh, more than just a friendship where they were like talking with them discussing how they feel you know and uh, commiserating upon you know what their expe um, expectations is uh, for the future aligning yourself with them doing all those small things that are necessary for a smooth development before you actually start dating which is the next milestone and then when you are completely secured on the dating, maybe start living together, that will be the next milestone. So it's step by step, but built in a such a way that you are making the platform that you are stepping on 
AR rock solids instead of being a extremely soft and fragile. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your a monthly tarot reading for October 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.